Is it secret? Is it safe? Time to board the plane. <laughs> well, we're at F-66 today. When Carol and I flew out, it was, uh, F it was supposed to be F-66, and then they moved us at the last second. That was craziness. This is the style of plane we got today. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hello. As you can see, I got the worst window seat possible. There's no window right beside me. Yeah. And it's all foggy. Foggy and wet. But uh, it'll blow off as we take off. Uneventful flight. Yeah. Thanks for the safe flight. All right. All right, guys. We're in Houston Airport. We got two hours layover, uh, so we went to Full Ritos and I ordered a chicken, uh, grilled chicken burrito. There's a Whataburger burger over there. Panda Express, so I had a Corona, and uh, my burrito is huge, pretty massive burrito. I'll take a couple bites and then I'll let you know how good Burritos is. So uh, that burrito I had, it was a cayenne tortilla, and it was absolutely fantastic. If you're ever in the airport here, it's a go out and get it now. Grilled chicken on the cayenne soft tortilla oh it was brilliant okay we just finished our lunch and everything now we're just waiting for our next flight so uh, there's carl and we are uh, just having a couple beers waiting for our flight uh people watching and doing all kinds of stuff like that yeah it's uh our flight is at 12 51 so uh, i'm gonna do a periscope right now say hi to you guys so i just finished my third beer at Houston Airport. Carl just went to the washroom. I just finished doing a periscope, so I hope you guys check that out. Uh, Carl has a periscope, it turns out, and his periscope is either Carl Kalonka, K-A-L-O-N-K-A, -A -A, uh, or you can type in Extreme Angler and you'll find him. And uh, he'd appreciate the follow. I'm gonna hopefully get him to do a periscope live from the boat, we'll see. We'll see what his data is like, but uh, we're just waiting. Luckily, the second plane that's after us, that's at 2.35, has been delayed for an hour and 10 minutes, but our flight is still 1.16, and it's uh, United Airlines 5781. So, see, United Flights. So we are like ground level with the uh, aircraft. Our jet. I smell is jet fuel. It's been a while since I boarded it. Well, I guess it's December when I, we went to Dominican Republic where we had to get off, off and on the plane from the tarmac. This is kind of cool. Thank you. Ah, uh, sure, that'd be great. Oh, 
Love it. Nice. They spelled extreme angler wrong on the side of the plane. This is very cool. So nice. Yeah, last time I was in a plane like this was like 2006. Oh, yeah. Okay, this uh, plane is called a EMB 145. And uh, you can't smoke on this one. Did you bring your smokes? No. Oh, water landing. Hope we land at the airport though. All right, we're about to take off from George Bush Airport in Houston, and then we're gonna be landing in, in Lafayette. I think it's probably like a less than an hour flight. It's like really short, but uh, it's better than walking. Let's do a takeoff video for you. cooler part of the airport which is up there. Carl's just gonna go get our rental car. Chances are they'll have to drive us maybe over to a special lot. We'll find out in just a minute. There's Lafayette. Uh, It is very hot and humid here. It's got to be in the high 80s, low 90s for sure. Plus the humidity, it just rained. So humidity is up. We're just looking for our car right now. All right, we got the car. It's the Ultima, uh, Nissan Ultima. It's white four door. And uh, it's only gonna be like 10 minutes to the hotel. And we're gonna book it. Yeah, burn the rubber. All right, we're gonna just pass a CV's, a Roost Steakhouse. You have to get gas right away? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> nope. Oh, he's getting something else. See the neon lights? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're in the Doubletree Hilton, and she's got cookies for me. Where are the cookies? I have them right here. Oh boy. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice, warm cloth. Oh, it smells good. Smell that. Mmm. We'll be back down in 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, good. Let's take the stairs. The stairs. All right, this is a double tree from Hilton. We got ourselves a closet with a safe. Perfect. Put your laptop in there. Nice. Very nice. Extra nice. Yes. Um, we've got the coffee maker, which is good. We've got a wallet. That's mine. Just kidding. Uh, we've got two beds. Good. This will be where I put all my stuff. This is where I will sleep. I like to sleep over here for some reason. We've got the big TV, lots of drawers. Door to another room. 
This is where I'll be editing just for you. And uh, there's the room from way back here. Let's do a long shot. Happening. Let's open the window up, check out Lafayette. And we're right on the river, which is very cool. Oh, and we got a pool. I brought the bathing suit. Nice! And they've got a drawbridge of some type. I guess that'd be like a lift type bridge. And uh, we've got the Outback Steakhouse. I'm right across there. And uh, yeah, nice muddy river. I wouldn't swim in there. They'd be gators. they be gators in there. Oh, my beer's here. <laughs> Carl just brought me a little gift. Got some Bud Lights uh, and he said, oh, do you have a, a fridge? And I said, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. It's in the drawers. Check that out. It's a secret. Carl will figure that out when he gets there. I'm like, that's a lot of drawers. And I saw the hinge. Oh, it's secret. Keep it secret. Is it secret? Is it safe? Okay, people, it's time to try it. To try, to try the cookie. Mmm. Oh, it is big. I thought there was two there. That's how thick this thing is. Hey, soft. Wow. It just bends. Whoa. Almost lost my cookies. Mmm. <laughs> It's falling apart. Mmm. <clears throat> Throw those two pieces in the garbage. Mmm. Very chocolatey. A bit too sweet for me. And it also has um, oatmeal in it. And I'm personally not a huge oatmeal kind of cookie kind of guy. But. It's a wood recommend, but there's no way I could eat more than one of these. I'm finding it hard to eat this one, but I'll do it just for you. Mmm. Mm. Okay, I gotta return the cart. Okay, I just went down to the lobby to check out their inter internet speed because sometimes if you click the complimentary, then you can't get back to the paid one if you the complimentary sucks and the complimentary sucks. So it's uh, the ping was 51, the download speed was 1.72. At home, I get 300. Here we get almost two. Uh, upload speed is 0.94. At home, I get 10. So this is like one-tenth the speed of home so uh, yeah we'll see what happens when I try to upload a video and if it's too slow then I'll have to pay the 995 to upload faster all right so we we're told to uh, come to a place called pre jeans Cajun restaurant one of the best places around so we we're told oh it is he okay so pre jeans uh, award-winning Cajun cuisine Nice place. Cool. All right guys, I'm gonna let you know what I ordered. I'm gonna be doing the crawfish platter, which is three courses, crispy crawfish salad, traditional crawfish brisk, uh, if I said that right, I hope I did, followed by a platter of fried crawfish, crawfish, at, I don't even know how to say that, and then crawfish, cornbread and crawfish uh, ballets, I believe. 
uh, served with French fries and corn something. There's a whole bunch of words in there that I obviously don't know how to say. But again, this is uh, pre-jeans, simply Cajun. Uh, and I'll do a review. I'll show you some of the footage up close, and then I'll do a review of it. Can you just give me a rundown of what... Crawfish et right here. Crawfish. Fried crawfish tails, French fries. That's a uh, crawfish boule. It's like just our uh, crawfish stuffing battered and fried. Okay. And a uh, crawfish cornbread and corn mokshu. Yummy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back at the room. I am absolutely stuffed. I couldn't finish any of the French fries. I think I ate everything else but the French fries. And there was a lot of French fries on that plate. Um, I really liked the stuff that was on the left side on the rice and again I can't remember anything that they told me what I ate so but that was my favorite thing it was nice and spicy uh, and then there was like a little pie with corn niblets in it and that was actually quite good the crust itself had like a sweet taste to it and uh, but the corn and all that had some type of a spice in it which is really good uh, it turns out I'm, I'm not I think I'd like to have regular straight steamed or boiled crawfish um, I'm I'm not digging the whole deep fried crawfish that would be my least favorite thing on that plate uh, the cornbread was good uh, that would be I, I would definitely you'd have to be really hungry for me to recommend that uh, he also got a platter of frog legs alligator uh, mushrooms, uh, crawfish tails, shrimp, like a huge platter and we kind of nibbled on that before we got our plate. Then we, then I had the uh, craw crawfish brisk, which is another amazing. I, next time I, if I go there again, I would do a large bowl of the crawfish brisk. And that would be it. Done. That's how good that was. That was the go out and get it now of that meal. The salad was cool because then they put a little crawfish on top, but they were deep fried. So ugh, back to deep fried. Ugh, I'm not going to eat very much tomorrow, let me tell you. That was brutal. That burrito I had at lunchtime, and then we had some beers, and then uh, we had a lot of dinner, and it was too much. That's enough. Stop it. All right, guys, I'm going to go to bed right now. Uh, we'll do birthday shoutouts tomorrow. We have to get up at, we have to leave here at 5.30. So I have to get up at 6. No, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I have to get up at 5. Shower, shave, get ready to go. Busy day.